How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here and in today's video we are going to be starting a brand new uh, kind of actually kind of brand new a brand new FS19 single player series. Um, a lot of you might recognize this map but in FS17 I played this map actually for uh, one of our playthroughs. I think it was like the, it was I think it was actually the last playthrough we played um, on FS17 before FS19 came out and this was grandpa's farm so what happened is uh grandpa's he's moved on he's done with the farm he's given it to me so it is time to actually put this thing to use um so this is going to be a lot of small equipment small tractors small combines um just little dinky stuff like right here uh, let me show you this we got pretty nice silos i'm going wrong got a nice fiat 13d right here what else we got we have a case ih this weird bizon super uh, thing here, but we have a nicer, older, I think, John Deere that I'm going to use. Uh, what else? Oh, that's it. And then we got the good lizard pickup, the 78 pickup, which we're going to be, uh, maybe trading out for like a Cummins or something like that. I don't know yet. We have some stuff in here. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of old machinery, guys. Old, old, old machinery. Um, so let's hop in the case real quick. Now I'm going to take you guys on a quick drive around this entire map. I should probably do it in the pickup, actually. What am I thinking? That's a little bit smarter. So house is right here. Uh, there's a chicken coop on the back side. There used to be a chicken coop right there that actually worked, but I don't think this one works. Um, so all the fields here. So like you got field three, six, and then seven over here is on our right. Then we have a grass field. But all these fields are divided by these uh, shrubs or bushes, whatever you want to say they are. And let me see here. I think... That these may be uh, destroyable. Like you may be able to destroy these by switching this out with some grass. Let's check it out. Let's try this really quick here. We'll go all the way over here somewhere we're not going to be looking very often. Yep. All right. Yeah. So we can. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm probably going to do um, early on in this series, guys, is go through and knock out a bunch of these shrubs in between these fields here, just because, like on this one right here, we could plow, move this over, and extend this whole area right here. Um, but you know. I don't know. Uh, all right, here. Let me go. Let me change something quick. All right, so I'll show you the other sides of the farm. So it looks like we got a few things added in here. It looks like there is a horse paddock right here. If I am correct, this is a horse paddock. Uh, little area here, kind of a wasted. And then we have our silo bins right here. These are weird, uh, like auger style silo bins. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, but it's got a really, really, really small uh, dump point right here. So you load that in, puts out on the other side. Uh, we got our hay barn here. I think this should still work. Yeah, this should still work for bales and stuff like that. Just going back in on here. We got our water tank right there. That's super handy. I'll probably remove... Oh, this is a lot different actually now that I think about it, guys. Because there used to be right here, there used to be the entire cow area. But uh, now... So we have our own placeable cow things in the game is no need for it that is really neat we got a few broken down old cars chilling right here uh but it looks like this is going to be our cow area which will be really nice we can get some cows going and also guys i forgot to mention there is seasons and i will be bringing seasons onto this map you bet your bottom dollar i will be uh i'll have to check it out and see how we get it on here but uh i will 100 percent have it on here so we've got a nice little pond here. Do a little bitty, itty bitty fishing. Um, this field right here is not owned by us, but this is probably one of the larger fields in the game. Granted, it's super small, I know, guys, but but this is all about the scale. We're gonna be using small equipment, um, so smaller maps or smaller fields will be perfectly fine. Okay, and there's our uh, tipper right there, just a little itty bitty guy. All right, now I'm going to show you guys around town here real quick. We're going to jut on over there. I'll show you the spot where you can do some more stuff. So the right is livestock. Yes, down there, that building is where you buy all your livestock. Uh, to the left is the hay and feed and town. Oh, it looks like town got a little bit of a revamp too. So it looks like this is the spot where you sell all of your stuff. Ooh, is this just chilling here actually? Can I actually knock this? Oh, I can't. Okay, it's just, it's fake. All right, I was like, ooh, can we can we take that and sell it? But no. Um, so this is where we're going to sell all of our stuff. And then also right here is the shop where we uh, where we buy everything. 
and our spawn points and all that goodies. And then if we go around over here, go out right here, go across the bridge. Oh, so we got a milk cell point right here on our right, I guess. Hopefully we don't hit these people. Let me drive past them. And then let's see, what is this? Oh, we got the railroad and the sawmill. So sawmill's back up there. As you can see, it's just literally right up that little road here. And then the railroad sell point right here around the corner. You just drive up right here, sell your stuff, and it'll go on its way. You don't actually have to like run or anything, but it's there. Uh, let's go around this bend here. Silver Creek Farm is up here. Oh, yep. There's a, I forgot that the train's always right there. And this is another spot to farm on if uh, you want like to co-op and you want to have another friend on here. You have another spot right here to farm, which is pretty neat if you ask me. Um, it's always nice being on these really, really, really small maps there being at least two farms. Oh, and they also forgot there is also the pig area up here. So we could take that farm and uh, take all these piggies over. It looks like we do actually own the pigs. Never mind. We actually own the pigs. So we own this entire area here. That's pretty neat. Uh, yeah, I guess it is right here next to our uh, our grass field. But, guys, I'm going to go through really quick. I'm going to remove all the shrubbery um, in between our entire uh, land plot here. Just because I really would like it out of the way. Um, in FS17, it was like berry bushes and you couldn't drive through it. So you had to deal with it. But in FS19, nah, we're not going to take it. We're going to remove it. So give me a second, guys. I'm going to go through time lapse here real quick and take all these bad boys down. Alrighty, there we go guys looks like we just spent what was it about a couple about a hundred bucks destroying all those bushes not too bad um the grass will grow back guys so don't worry about that um when i put that down it will make it grow back so that's fantastic um but as you can see here it really opens up our uh, land plots here and my plan is is to use the plow and push a lot of these land plots out to the edge so that we can barely drive through them with a combine without smacking them um, because that's how I want it and I like the look of it like right here We can extend this probably by two plows widths right to the edge of the road There's nothing better than an eye when you're driving past uh, A field and it's just a ton of corn on your right side and it's just flying past you So I want the same thing to be right there So that's why I extended that and I'm or that's why we're gonna extend that I removed all those bushes there um, I removed all the ones here just because this is right in front. Oh, I'm driving over crap um, just because this is right in front of this area and I really don't want to have to deal with it So, you know, why not just get rid of it? But next thing guys is going to be let me move this back into the shed here It's a bad idea pulling it out. Oh, also. Yeah, I forgot to show you. You gotta wait uh, This is our sewer. It's our Amazon sewer. Let me get over to that really quick I'm gonna show you guys these barns up here ahead of us really quick. Though. Uh, the remaining equipment is what I want to show you so this was my bell barn and this no this is my bell barn up here in the last series so i might use that again oh wow there's no more equipment in here is there all right let's check the check the garage here and see what we got um all right all right we got a plow yep old family chicken farm farm chickens grain silo shed so we can replace the shed if we don't want it there oh, well hey that's pretty neat we got everything uh everything already uh staked out so we know exactly what we got 
All right, which means the first thing that we're gonna go do now is I think we have a few international tractors, uh, maybe one or two 1700 John Deere's and a couple other older ones that I wanna bring in here. We don't need a lot of horsepower on this small equipment, so I'm not too worried about getting a lot of big ones in here. Plus we're keeping, keeping it small. We only got $100,000 right now from grandpa, so we're gonna make use of it. Uh, let's go in here. So we have that tractor there. Uh, let's see, what else did we have? So, ooh, cultivator. All right, we need a plow. Right off the bat, I know it. We're gonna need a plow. Uh, let's see, which one are we gonna want? So we do have this old John Deere chisel plow. Um, what, what year is this one? Oh, I can't even tell. It's old though, I know that, I can tell that. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, so this is what this bad boy looks like. I think we could definitely handle this. Uh, we'll buy it. Yep, there we go, 6,000. Easy, not too bad. There is our plow, guys, right there. Um, I don't think we have anything for crop protection and or fertilizing. So let's get some stuff for some fertilization. Buster tools. Oh, he's got some large stuff in here. We don't want that. Uh, so crop protection. Oh, boy. Additional tank. Uh, that's just a straight up sprayer. Even the 21 meters is a little bit overkill for us. Um, so we'll probably, I'll try, I'll go and try and find some smaller sprayers, guys. Don't you worry. Uh, well, anyways, let me go grab that. Uh, I'll take the tractor with us. I'm going to go grab that plow that we just bought. And we're also going to need to see if that fence can... Well, let me check it really quick. Ah, can. All right. Well, we're going to have to buy a smaller tractor that we can use exclusively as our, uh, as our cow tractor just because we need something that we can move everything around with. Um, maybe even a, we pick up a bobcat, throw a shovel on the end of it, maybe get some pallet forks on it just in case we need. Um, I know a lot of farmers do that because that, that'd be really, really helpful for us. All right, let's go pick this bad boy up. Spawns over here. We'll see how much a bobcat costs us compared to a smaller tractor. Cause if obviously the tractor has got a little bit more use than a bobcat, but if we're only using the bobcat for one thing, then it's not too big of a deal. Uh, let's check it real quick. Uh, skid loaders, 35 grand. Oh my Lord. All right. 35 grand. And these are a ton more actually. Wow. Um, we do have some older John Deere's in here though. Oh, let's see. Let's see. We do have the old farm wall. The old farm wall, farm wall can't really do much for us though. Hey, this one actually can though. Sweet. Okay, so this one can do a front loader attacher. Um, and it should be able to work good. So we could do a cab with that or no cab. We definitely want that in the back as like a roll. Because um, I don't want that happening. Oh, geez. These wheels are crazy. Um, we're going to want really thin tires. We don't need nothing big. Um, that should work perfectly fine. Front loader attached, only 9,000. Pick it up. It's only got 35 horses on it, but it's it's going to be fine. Um, and then we'll get front loader attacher for this little guy. Uh, that's the... That's greater than 90 horsepower. We don't want that. Yeah, we got to do this little one. And then we'll go with a Case IH red color. And we'll make sure that this guy can fit on this one. Oh, wow. This one is a little guy, isn't he? Oh. Whoa. Never mind. I don't know about this fitting on here. <laughs> oh, guys. I don't think this is going to work. Yep. Yep. We're going to have to... Oh, can I not detach the tool at all? Uh-oh, guys. I don't think I can get rid of this. Okay. That was a that was a bad that was a bad decision on me. I won't lie. That was a that was a poor decision. We do not need this. Sell that. There we go. And then the forks pop back up. There we that's that's what we wanted. Um 
I wonder if we can customize our Fiat to have... Oh, it doesn't even have the option. Dang it. Oh, that's not good. 53, 53. That's a mower. We don't want that. Is that the mower? Yeah, it's a mower. It's 56, 720. Does this one got... Nah, none of these are going to have what we're looking for. So you might just have to do one of the other ones here. All this, does the commerce no commerce doesn't have it either dang it okay um we might have to settle on the fiat here or no that the Valtra. probably sell the fiat and buy the Valtra. sixty five thousand dollars so we're gonna be uh we're gonna be in in debt after we get this bad boy uh make sure we can even do front loader attach around it. yeah we can okay sweet um 100 okay there we go we can get that we can bump that up a little bit um, and we'll leave, we'll leave the white rooms. We'll keep it. We'll keep it standard. Keep it how it comes. $72,000 down the drain. There we go. Let's see if this bad boy loads up now. This one should be very capable. So it might've just been better for us to do the, uh, do the Bobcat all along rather than going through all this issue here. Um, and then let's get our bucket. I went right past it. I get our universal bucket. We'll keep it. We'll keep it black. I don't want to spend any extra money on it right now. And that'll help uh, hide some of the manure we get on it. Ooh there we go. All right. I can finally get this thing back. It's about the same size as our case right there. Uh, that should be fine, though. Uh, we might. So we gotta, we're got we over. We'll take the Fiat. We'll sell the Fiat. Uh, we'll take it back, actually, and sell it since literally driving distance is like 20 seconds. Um, so this is going to be our cow, one of our main cow tractors. It can also help for other things, obviously. It's 114 horsepower, so it's definitely not useless. Um, kind of like that Fiat one is. So let's see. Let's set this guy right here. Let's grab the Fiat 1300D. I do like this little guy, though. It puts around. I like it a lot. Um, but next, we'll probably pick up a older John Deere tractor to help run a cultivator or two uh then what else then we're gonna need something for our crop protection and fertilization i'll have to go find another mod for that um but yeah oh wow this one is a lot slower than the Valtra. but hey she still works she still goes it's all that matters throw our turn signal on here doesn't really matter because we're on our own property but we'll throw it on so i think the cell point is right up here next to the hay and feed I'm pretty sure it is. Should be up here on the left on the entry. Yeah, we'll go right here. Let's see what we can sell this one for. Fifty-three thousand. That is not shabby at all. We picked up the Valtra for a little bit, a little bit short of that, so definitely a worthwhile purchase. And this plow, by the way, I think this plow will do. A Absolute fantastic job, guys. I should have seen if I could have added a front loader attacher to this one, but this one's too big because I don't want I don't want something huge doing our uh, doing all of our cow stuff. Just a little overkill. There we go. And we're also I got to go through and see if there's some better uh, combines for us to use because I don't want to be using that uh, FMJ Bison. I think is what it is. I don't want to be using that the whole time. Maybe on the first couple ones here, but I want to upgrade to something uh, something a little bit more classic. All right, we'll leave this right here real quick. Now let's go check out our combines. Did I bring in anything older? I did have this axial flow in here. I don't really think there's anything much older. I'll probably find try and find an old John Deere combine um, just because... I'd really like to have an older John Deere combine. I have a lot of case stuff already. Uh, I want to try and eliminate a lot of the red. Switch over to some green, if you guys. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, guys. I love case, but I also really like John Deere just because it's really, really uh, common around my area. But guys, we're gonna leave it off on that. This is the first episode of Grandpa's Farm. I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. Um, if you guys got any recommendations for mods or anything you want me to put in here, I'm trying to keep it like 80s, 70s, or older type stuff. Um, so that Vulture might be a little bit too new for me, but. It's the only smaller one I have right now. 
uh, that can really get some work done for me. But I am looking for some older stuff, so let me know, guys, in the comment section down below if you guys got anything. Uh, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with this series. It's going to be a fun one. Um, I'm really going to enjoy it, so I think you guys are too. Uh, but until further ado, I'll see you all in the next Farming Simulator video.